Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here, down in the bee yard, yet again. Today is May 26th, I think, 27th, and I just picked up my two nukes. Now, I have five hives already. You guys watched my previous videos. I started with three, split them to five. They're doing okay. If you saw the previous video uh, where I did my inspection, everything's doing okay. There's bees there. Still going to wait for the queen. We're still a little bit, you know, a week or so away from seeing eggs and stuff for some of those. But I got some nukes here. I'm going to bring you in. And I'm going to show you how to install nukes back here. You guys can see in my setup, maybe not, but I have a, actually have two to do, but I'm only going to show you guys one because basically the same process. And we are going to be feeding these guys and gals uh, sugar water today. Sugar water is a one-to-one. -one. Sugar syrup is two-to-one. You usually feed that in the fall. Uh, sugar syrup, uh, sugar water in the summertime or the early spring to get your colony going. But I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of, let me show you. I have a lot of drawn frames already. And the sugar water is to help them make this, to get the sugars to make the wax. And also to feed them. But since I have a lot of drawn comb, uh, both boxes are going to be getting probably four or five drawn frames or, or somewhere along drawn frames so i won't have to mess with it as much so i'm going to bring in close here and we'll uh we'll look at this nuke real quick all right there we go so i got the lid off i'm not going to do this too i'm not going to take anything out of here but look at the size of this nuke now the queen's going to be wedged uh, i don't see the little container I'm sure she's in there somewhere i'm not sure what what color year we are at this year but it all goes by by year. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this there. Sometimes the queen's laying on top, like in a little box. Sometimes they've integrated her already, which might be the case here, but we'll take a look. Oh, there she's right there. You guys can see right there, that purple, that's her. So uh, we don't want her to get out of here. So let's get set up over where we're gonna put the nuke in. And then, oops, you guys can't see me. Let's get set up where the nuke's gonna go. Alrighty, so we're set up here, I got my box. Let's get the frames in. This is gonna be a little tricky because I don't want her to fall. Should be fine. And what you do when you do nukes, you wanna put the existing frames, or the new frames, I guess you wanna call it, the, the new frames, you wanna put those right in the middle of your hive. Because that's typically how they work anyway, the bees. From the, from the middle out, especially the queen. I saw her, she's right down in that in the mid. She's right in this frame right here. So we're good to go. Sometimes they come in uh, little containers. Other times they come loose. And we'll just put, this is one here. This one's full of honey. That's typically when you get nukes, you get some with brood, some with eggs, some with honey. And we got a lot of bees in here. Look at this. So I'm gonna get the frame. Actually, I could probably knock these guys. I'll knock them in when I'm done. Get the other frames in. Like I said, I got all drawn frames here. I didn't bring my hive tool, which I should have brought that, but that's okay. We'll do uh, we'll do two on this side. If we can actually we can get three on this side, I think. Just push things over. You know they'll go. It's not a big deal. Also because this is a box I've used it for, everything's really kind of sticky. But I know she's in here, and that's all that really matters, honestly, at this point. Right, move this one up a little bit, this one up a little bit. And we'll get our last frame wedged in here. And some of these frames have old brood and old stuff. The bees will clean this, no problem. They'll clean this right out, and they'll reuse this for sure. Get that wedged in there. All right, now we can pull this back. Some of these are, you know, when you get nukes in, you never know what, what the frame conditions are gonna be. These are okay. Uh, they have these little notches that are a bit broken, but that's fine. We'll make do without it. All right. And they are active as heck, as you can hear. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is a pretty ratty looking frame, but you know what? They'll clean this up. So what we're going to do with these guys actually is um, we want to feed them. So I want them to be able to get in and out. And uh, this inner cover we have to actually replace because we don't have a, a notch in this one. Which is an easy fix. I have another lid right here with a lid on the top. Watch out girl. 
All right, put the lid on the top, put our feeder on top of that. They're already eager for this syrup. That is for darn sure. And then, uh, oh, I gotta get the rest of the bees in. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. Get the rest of the bees in here. This one big womp is good. Same thing with the lid, one womp. Leave the box light next door, it's fine. Put the cover on. You always squish some, it's just inevitable. Get this put on. This is gonna be our feeder. And this will sit here for a few weeks, oh, maybe a week. We got our sugar syrup here, you can't see it, but we're gonna be bringing it in right now. We're gonna give them probably half of this. Then we put our lid on it. And we call the day. There you go, guys. Get the camera back up. That's how you do nukes, simple as that. Now this hive, I'll probably leave this for maybe four days. I'll come back and I'll check to see how much sugar syrup they have. I keep calling it sugar syrup, it's sugar water. I'll come back to see how much sugar water they have. If they're out, I'll give them more because you want to keep feeding um, new hive sugar water. Now again, because we have drawn frames, it's not as big a deal, but I still want to give it to them if they're eating it. Once they, like after a week or two, if there's not, if they haven't been eating it, then I'm going to take it away because then they've eaten all they need to. All my other hives, my other four well, five hives, uh, they're fine. I don't have to mess with them at all right now. They're going to be fine. You don't have to feed them because they're existing hives and they have a decent amount of uh, food storage there. So that's how you install a nuke, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next bee video.